<laughs> Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are having a fabulous time here at America's Best Flowers, surrounded by every color of the rainbow, mm -hmm. surrounded by beautiful smells, and just very pleased to be in this environment. It's a the birds are chirping. They are. There's everything here. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in Wonderland mm -hmm. a little bit. It's pretty nice. Um, we're very excited here today to have with us from Summit Strength and Fitness, Keith Kubisa, the owner, and Aaron Spitzer, trainer and coach and fellow climber. Awesome. Correct. Awesome. Okay. So let's start with an introduction to how you started Summit. What was your inspiration, Keith? Oh, so I have a long you know, athletic background, you know, growing up playing sports and organized sports, and which evolved into me becoming a personal trainer, mm -hmm. and which then turned into me working with climbers. Mm -hmm. And I just ran out of space to work with my clients and the kids climbing team I worked with at our local climbing gym. And I just wanted my own space to have control of what was going on in the gym. So. Good. Congratulations. Yeah, well, thanks. I've been lucky enough to see the gym and it's really cool. There's a climbing wall that starts from here all the way up over your head. So Ooh. I'm very excited to try that very soon. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how I do. <laughs> so with the visual <laughs> you're painting, Emily, you. I think a lot of people think like, oh my gosh, upside down over your head. Yeah. So is climbing like a risky thing to do, I guess? It can be. Um, there's always risk involved, but what Aaron and I are doing, um, are trying to teach folks how to properly do it to minimize that risk and right. to stay safe and take away any potential for injury. Right. Yeah, just like driving class, you learn driving techniques. Um, we do the same thing. We teach techni techniques and take a really thorough approach to minimizing yeah. risk and making sure people are safe and comfortable in the environment and watching their habits. Mm -hmm. So as you watch your habits, if they're doing, you know, as a trainer, if they're doing something dangerous, absolutely you'd stop it and um, right. that's why that's why it's really beneficial to have a trainer yeah. especially if you're a beginner mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. because if you see someone maybe like i mean this is an exaggeration but if someone's climbing and say like not hanging on with one arm or something and letting it hang and say like correct that that is not safe please in totally. this environment and so you're kind of getting someone ready to if they're interested take this outside and climb for real right like on the side of a rock is that the idea like how do you get someone it, coached up to do that it absolutely can be or climbing can just be a gym based activity as well well, it's just all about what the person, the individual wants to do with their climbing. Outdoor climbing is amazing, mm -hmm. but. It is, but there's different risk factors there and there's different equipment sometimes mm -hmm. and, right, so this could also just be go in, have fun, get your mm -hmm. muscles work, get your focus yeah. going. Use totally. it as a fitness tool. Yep. I mean, we have, it's not all climbers that are in the gym. Some folks that just want to find a new fun way to stay in shape and mm -hmm. just. So that okay. kind of leads me to my next question of who is the typical person who walks into Summit? Is it all ages? Yeah, we have you know, kids in there as little as eight that I'm working with. And Seriously? Yeah. Oh my There's goodness. There's some younger kids that come to the open gym. We had wow. a three-year-old in there, but they aren't part of classes. We sure. don't have classes for that young. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, that they're welcome, though. Yeah, they are welcome. Kids are they, natural climbers. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible yeah. how quickly they take to it. Yeah. It's really cool. And then there's a group I have actually this evening of um, some guys that are in their 60s and 70s. So. Oh my gosh. All using the same facility. Yeah, same people stuff. of all ages. I so. love that. And I love that it's kind of, like you guys mentioned, a, a tool, really. And I don't know if a lot of people think of it that way, that this is something you can do to get in shape, stay in shape, and it sounds mm. like it's a lot of fun, which yeah. is probably the most important to be able to stick to a fitness routine. Yeah, yes. there's a question I want to ask that has to do with ropes, but before that I just want to kind of quote Keith when I first met him. He told me, because of this climbing wall and the environment that you provide for people, climbing is a, such a unique way. He said, you'll never see another sport in which you see, I think you said, correct me if I'm wrong, a 10-year-old girl tell a 30-year-old, like, like ripped yeah. guy, yeah, yeah, that's actually not what you should do. Let me show you. And she'll scramble <laughs> up and pass him, right? And so I was just like... I mean, that's just yeah. amazing. So, yep. so good for you for providing that. But yeah. in general, in that, so I think people might think climbing is, um, you know, they see it in the movies, they think like, oh, on play and doing all this stuff. Like, do you need ropes for this? What's the story there? Um, I'll have you answer. No, I mean, the way our gym's set up is we don't. It's all, it's called bouldering, climbing without ropes at a much lower um, height. We have a nice big floor, protected floor to fall into if you do fall. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason we don't have ropes, it's just one more thing that we, you have to teach and learn another technical thing which we don't want to be teaching keep it simple. right now. Yeah, to keep, keep it, it simple. simple. More time on and off the wall is easier to work with your coach if you're not 30 feet up on a rope. Oh. Fabulous. More body awareness as well. So you're not worrying about using equipment. 
Um, you're worrying about using your body. Right. And your brain, mm -hmm. your focus, and your right? Brain. right? Absolutely. Well, this is Keith and Aaron from Summit Strength and Fitness. They'll help you learn how to climb and do everything on and off the wall. Look forward to seeing them in a brand new show called Wisconsin Climbers. We're here at <laughs> America's Best Flowers. Stay tuned for more after the break.